The results of the CHL Top Prospects Combine are in, and surprisingly, Bedard is nowhere to be found. The consensus number one overall pick in the draft, a generational talent, only managed to crack one top five spot, which is surprising. In a sport where skating is one of the most important attributes, you would think that the best player in the draft would also be the best skater. But that doesn't appear to be the case, at least based on these results. Now, if they tested their shot, I'm sure Bedard would smoke the competition. On this channel, we primarily focus on improving our skating mechanics to be a better player. But on the surface, if you look at these results, the best player in the draft is apparently not the best skater. So does that mean we should change how we work on improving our game? No. Because if we take a deeper look at the combine test, what are the actual mechanics they're testing for? They have the forward stride, the backwards corkscrew, punch turns, cross unders, pivots, and different athletic tests like reaction time. Now those are all important to being a good skater, don't get me wrong, but that's not even nearly scratching the surface. What about the corkscrew, the 10 and two, a stutter step, a shuffle, anchor, outside edge roll, and of course you have going forwards, backwards, plus their infinite variation. Those are the skating mechanics that separate the elite players. Although I would add the cross under in there as well. Not to mention their ability to perform the mechanics relaxed and efficiently. So when evaluating a player's skating, make sure to look at all the mechanics involved in playing at an elite level. Now does that mean I think they should add the anchor to their test? No. It's more about how they use those mechanics in game versus going around the cone. Now the last part to all of this is an element that I don't talk a lot on this channel, but it's that how you use the mechanics in game is equally if not more important than your ability to perform them. Sure, Bedard may not be a top 5 skater based on their test, but he's better at using those mechanics in game than all those other players. Hence why he's the number one overall pick. That and of course you can't forget about his shot. So don't let these tests fool you, Bedard is a top 5 skater in this draft class, but maybe not based on our standard definition. Thank you for watching, if you like this video, check this one out, I think you'll like it too.